And the one who controls the abyss can control everything. We yearned for that future. We looked to you to take us there. But what did you bring us instead? Oh, Princess of Conria. You're awake! Oh, thank goodness you're awake. Paima was worried sick! Uh, uh, Traveler? Traveler? What happened while you were unconscious? I checked the ley lines nearby. It appears that the Abyss tampered with them, and they've been in turmoil ever since. Information and memories flow within the ley lines. What did you witness? You mean Clotar Alberich? After founding the Abyss Order, his faith in the Abyss led him to do a great many things. But the curse of immortality continued to torment his body and mind. And in the end, neither his faith nor the Abyss he worshipped could save him. After a hundred years, he lost his mind completely and was never seen again. Yet his dark legacy lived on. The defiled statue that we encountered previously was just one perverse product of his use of abyssal power during his life. You could say that. She wouldn't be the Abyss Order's princess otherwise. Are you all right? You have a troubled look on your face. Uh, what happened? Hmm. So you saw her memories from centuries ago, through your own eyes. It all but defies belief. Still, as I'd suspected, the notion of the loom of fate did indeed rear its head during that time. And it seems closely connected to Clotar Alberich's son, Caribert, and what happened to him. And yet your sister never breathed a word of this incident to me. I wonder, was that the moment that she decided to go down this path? Indeed. Clearly this series of events sparked a long period of deep contemplation. This was where it all began. What is it? The field? What does that have to do with anything? You mean here? Well, let's start digging and see. You scared the duke out of Paimon! Did, did you rebury them yet? A male and female skeleton, buried together. Interestingly, the male skeleton appears to have been interred much later, and it's holding a silk scarf in its hand. But what does this mean? And how did you know that there were bodies buried here? What? That's impossible. Unless Clotar Alberi finally found a way to rid himself of the curse. Mm. This all raises far too many questions. I need time to think, and to search my memories for some missing pieces. We should part ways here. Huh? You're just gonna leave? Why? You could come with us, you know. It's better that we split up for now. I think that he might have seen you. Who's he? Yes. I have my suspicions as to his identity, but I need to confirm some other details before I can be sure. If the time is right, I will tell you when we next meet. But what do you mean that he saw the Traveler? How is that possible? I fear that while these things would limit anyone else, they are no obstacle to him. What? Why? What is he? All right, let's leave it there. Get some rest. Goodbye. <laughs> there goes Dane. And just like that, it's back to being the two of us again, huh? Hmm? What is it? Huh? <laughs>